Hi everyone, welcome to another app tutorial. For people who are not familiar, I do have an astrology app that I am affiliated with. So check in the description box and let's begin. Today, we are going to be focusing on one of my favorite parts of this app, which is the Vedic Rituals and Remedies. You can Hi everyone, welcome to your divine timing. If you are new to this channel, welcome. And I'm very happy that you are here. Um, a divine timing is a reading that is actually just uh, meant for a specific person. So it, it's not trying to read any of the zodiac. It's more of you were divinely guided to click on the video. You're probably just wandering around in YouTube and you felt like drawn to this video and then you clicked it and then things just make sense. So it is not um, based on any zodiac. It's really just about you. You're probably wondering and have some questions in your subconscious that you probably don't even care. But once you click this, all these things in your subconscious starts to become real because it does go there. It goes to the part of the things that we thought we never cared anymore, but it brings it out of us because we still do. So it goes very, very deep. So this is your divine timing reading. And hopefully whoever you are who's watching and listening will be able to resonate with this reading. You have the sun card. The sun. Very happy. A person who's celebrating something like a big news. Can be you just got a new job. You got some help from family. Someone messaged you. You finally heard back from work. You heard back from family that everybody's okay. You found out that you're healthy. This card speaks a lot, speaks volumes. It's a new beginning. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. It's a card of accepting the darkness and seeing the light out of any situation. You could be probably a person who is um, optimistic. That's you. The light at the end of the tunnel, the Ten of Swords. I noticed that in the divine timing reading, the Ten of Sword comes no matter what deck I use and what format I use. It's always trying to connect to a person who is healing. A person who's hopeful for a good news. 
Now this person here feels like she was left out. This person here feels that she's begging for mercy. It also seems like she's asking for forgiveness at the same time. Ten of Swords look like she has run out of breath. She has run out of everything. It seems like she was left out. It seems like she was taken advantage of her innocence at the same time. It's a person who gave all the benefit of the doubt to the person that they're dealing with. So they didn't see that betrayal is upon them. The Nine of Swords, this is again the second time that this card keeps hunting this uh, divine timing reading. Someone is worried. Someone is worried and defensive, having trust issues. Someone has, someone is mentally challenged. It's the swords. So it keeps resi resounding in your head about as a particular situation that no matter how good the day is there is something that bothers you and this is your subconscious because it comes out of nowhere you could have panic attack stress worrying all of a sudden and it comes at the least expected Six of Pentacles. Someone is worried and stressed about how the other person is just doing their own thing and not giving any care to them. The Six of Pentacles is not sharing any of the Pentacles, so someone is selfish. While the other person is worried because they are not giving any kind of communication or time. So the other person is feeling like giving up already. Someone is very greedy. Instead of sharing their time, their happiness and joy, they allow the other person to just feel stuck. Very selfish individual there. And this is the same person who you have helped when they needed you. The temperance here looks similar to the Ten of Swords. So this is the same person who was helping the Six of Pentacles. And once the Six of Pentacles got what they wanted, they're happy doing themselves. Well, they have forgiven the person who has helped them. That cup over there, that was the cup that you have given them. So you could have given them love. Ten of Pentacles under the Sun card. Very positive. The Sun and the Ten of Pentacles is someone being optimistic. But the Ten of Pentacles here is not sharing their coins also. Someone wants their own independent happiness from a person that they had help. You're thinking of ways 
of how can you be happy by yourself without them. And it seems that you can, but it requires for you to relocate and to move, take everything that you have and start all over again as 10 is a result and the sun card is a new life you're probably thinking maybe I don't belong in this place anymore 10 of pentacles is settling down to a new home and it looks like you're gonna gamble on this star card someone keeps praying in the previous reading we always get this combination someone asking for help asking for guidance asking for the divine to intervene to set them free from someone who they feel bound to help but this person is giving up already and you're lifting it up all to the ethers, to God, that please take away the burden that you have been carrying and show mercy. Your prayers. Mm. The Knight of Cups. Now this person has a way with their words that when they want to call you, they're always present. When they want to show up to your life, they will make a big entrance to your life like nothing ever happened. As a knight, the person will come to your life and then just leave you be again. And yes, this person always leaves you. They always do. And you're tired of them leaving you by yourself. And they also just take this connection very, very convenient for them. When they want to get your attention, they just come into your life. And most of the time, you feel alone. You feel lonely. You feel like, well, this is me again. Back at home. Missing them. Waiting for their message. Three of Cups is good memories. So you're always looking forward for a message from them. You have the magician. I feel like this person has a way with their words. As a magician, they can be very, very tricky. As a magician, they know how to make you feel. As a magician, they know what to do when to give energy and when to take back energy. They're single, but in a way has been tricking your feelings for a long time now. Because you are happy by yourself, but every time that this person comes into your life, you feel very, very challenged. There it is. You always miss this person. You always wait for them. You always have one of those moments where you pause out of nowhere and you just start thinking of them and then it weighs you down. It almost interferes with your day. 
you're happy, everything is doing good, Ten of Pentacles, and the Sun card, and then you have a weak spot, a weak moment, with the Three of Cups. You have the Two of Wands. You're having a hard time because the person can never make a decision to stay. They can never make a decision. It's always a struggle between the two of you. And you're always trying to convince them to stay. You're always trying to talk them out of why don't you just be with me. You know, the two of ones, it's a conflict for them. of ones and sometimes they're really just about fun with you intimacy under the knight of cups and the knight knave of ones is also immature with regards to starting a new relationship i mean a relationship and they make it impossible always for things to move forward with the five of ones the person always has reason, reasons why they can't see you, reason why they didn't text, why they didn't call, why they didn't pick up the phone. And it puts you in a clueless position. And they always have the right words to say. I'm sorry, Page of Pentacles. And that's where they always get you. When they say, hey, I'm sorry. I was out with friends. Hey, I'm sorry. I was, I, I, there was a lot of work. And, you know, work has been busy. And, you know, that there was, you know, I have some stuff with my family. The magician will come up with a lot of things that this person can tell you. I'm sorry, this weekend I can't. And then you know that you guys have planned this for months and then they will cancel it in the last minute. As you know, it's a night. You will have six months planning, only like a day or two they're going to cancel and they're just going to give you, I'm sorry, I can't. They always give a reason to you. They always put something else in front of the connection. So it appears that this is a little tough divine timing reading because we have some we have a person who knows how to say sorry and makes you feel good at the same time because the sun is here. But it's it never materialized to something stable, to something concrete and you're still waiting if ever this person will change their ways because you're still praying you're still hopeful you haven't given up all right so this is your divine timing reading i hope whoever you are um you find this message enlightening and healing and I'll continue this I look more in depth to how this connection is going to manifest as you are in the middle of it's a crossroad two of ones here are they will they four of cups I'm not sure I'm waiting here these are the thoughts thank you very much guys have a wonderful wonderful night goodbye Vedic Rituals and Remedies. You can see there right now, it's under the Featured Tools. I click on that, and then it will give me different informations for remedies. And one thing that is very famous and familiar for this app is the Remedies to Improve 
relationship. So if you click that, it will give you helpful information about remedying, uh, giving remedy to your relationship. These are very practical approach. These are not complicated approach as far as like remedies. And other than that, it will also give you different kinds of rituals, which is for the eclipse. You can see it there. You have Saturn fasting. You have all these things, Rahu rituals, which is for different placements of Rahu in the chart. So all these things that you can see right now on the screen where I'm scrolling right here, all of these are available for remedies. And what's good here is that it is one stop shop. You do not need to keep, you know, searching online, finding different remedies because it's already in your phone. Ain't that amazing? So what are you waiting for? Click that link below for my affiliate link for the app. I'll see you again.